Well, I finally broke down and I cleaned up the stun hanger. So I'm going to give you a little tour of what's going on inside the stun hanger. Uh, it only took a couple of days to get all the, the mess cleaned up. And uh, what we have going on here is uh, control central for stun hanger. I got a, um, a cutter as I did a short video but uh, I'm not going to go with that video because it, it's just too complicated. <clears throat> I've got it figured out now. I've cut a few uh, stencils with it. This is my stun hanger uh, stencil for the back of my windshield and I have <clears throat> some stencils that I cut for some airplanes that I'm doing. And in the shop here now you look at it and you say, whoa, that's a disaster. This is like a doctor's office right now compared to what it was. It is uh, absolutely uh, clean. I got some clutter on the uh, workbench here and I'll get to that today. And over there in the, uh, on the catch-all bench over there. But as I stated, it's... Uh, absolutely clean. I ended up dragging up my compressor from the garage up to you know two flights of stairs and <clears throat> that was a, a trip with no help and uh, of course the, getting the uh, cutter up the stairs was a trip with no help <clears throat> but I thought I'd give a little tour of uh, stun hanger and these are not all the airplanes that I have at my house. This is just my shop, what I have in my shop. I have more in the garage. And uh, there's a few of them here. Any of you people who are going to be at uh, Broken Arrow this weekend and give me a call and come over and see what I'm doing up here at the Skunk Works. But anyway, yeah, that was just a short tour of the shop and there's my project hanging on the wall I'm still working on. I got uh, clear and ink and all kind of things to go on it yet. So anyway, I'm going to get back to, uh, to work cleaning and uh, I need to get to painting and we'll see you on the next video. Tight lines.